Hey there, in this video we're going to be reviewing Ableton Live 11, the latest version of the popular digital audio workstation. Ableton Live is a versatile and powerful tool for music production, live performance, and DJing. It's used by professionals and beginners alike and is known for its intuitive and user-friendly interface. So, let's dive into the features of Ableton Live 11 and see what's new. The first thing you'll notice when you launch Ableton Live 11 is its updated user interface. It's cleaner and more modern looking than the previous version. The new color scheme is more muted, which makes it easier to focus on the content of your project. The interface is also more customizable, so you can adjust the size and position of the windows to fit your workflow. One of the most significant new features in Ableton Live 11 is comping. Comping is the process of combining multiple takes of performance into one final take. This is a common technique used in music production, especially when recording vocals. With the new comping feature, you can easily create a composite take by selecting the best parts of each take. This saves a lot of time compared to manually editing and splicing together multiple takes. Another new feature in Ableton Live 11 is MPE support. MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression, which is a new standard for MIDI controllers. MPE allows you to control multiple parameters of a sound at once, such as pitch bend, vibrato, and timbre. This is especially useful for playing expressive instruments like the guitar or the violin. With MPE support, you can use any MPE-compatible controller to create dynamic and nuanced performances. Ableton Live 11 also includes a new device called Hybrid Reverb. This is a versatile and powerful reverb effect that combines the best of convolution and algorithmic reverbs. Hybrid Reverb has a simple interface that makes it easy to dial in the perfect reverb sound for your project. You can choose from a variety of presets or create your own unique sound. Ableton Live 11 includes several other improvements to existing devices. For example, the EQ8 device now has a visualizer that displays the frequency response of your track in real time. The Redix device now includes a quality parameter that lets you choose between a range of sound qualities, from low-fi to high quality. And the Chorus Ensemble device now has a width parameter that lets you adjust the stereo width of the effect. So, that's a quick overview of some of the new features in Ableton Live 11. As you can see, Ableton Live 11 is a powerful and versatile tool for music production, live performance, and DJing. The new comping feature, MPE support, and hybrid reverb are just a few examples of the many improvements in this latest version. Whether you're a professional musician or a beginner, Ableton Live 11 has something to offer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.